Afternoon guys, welcome to the Mooch's Ways channel. Um, just want to show you outside. We've had quite a bit of snow today and slowed down a bit, but they're forecasting more snow for the afternoon. Um, so a couple of videos ago I got a request. I can't remember who requested it now, so apologies. Um, they wanted to see my setup for my ferrets and my team, I keep um, I keep seven. Uh, got the lurcher. Yeah, I'll bring. Got the lurcher dog out with me. Um, I was supposed to look at a new farm today for ferreting and go meet the farmer and uh, set off to go. But the snow was so bad and the roads were so bad that uh, we had to cancel in the end. So I've rearranged that. Um, I was out lamping on a new piece of permission the other night. Um, actually, there's the same bit of permission where we made the video where we caught 21 rabbits. Uh, the landowner has said that we could lamp there. Um, so we had a, we only was out for an hour and we had four between two dogs. Uh, my mate was running his first cross whip at ground and I was running um, my lurcher, Bryn. He's a Saluki whip at ground. Um, we got some clips, a couple of, couple of clips of each dog. Uh, you don't actually really get to see my dog make a catch. It's quite grainy footage. Uh, there's a little retrieve anyway, but I'll put it together and I'll put it up still. Um, but we just got to work on that a bit. So I'll show you my setup quick. So <clears throat> we got this hutch. I've got three hobs in there at the moment. <laughs> Bryn. Um, <laughs> he wants to be in the shot. Then we got this hutch here with two youngsters in. They're the youngsters I showed you in the previous video. And we've got this hutch here. We've got two. This is actually from a cattery. I got this from a mate of mine. Uh, so I'll show you these two quickly. I'm just going to set the phone down. So in there I've got an older hob and a hob that I bred a couple of years back both nice size as you can see as with the other ferrets I showed you they're all very quiet to handle um, they look pretty much identical so the way you tell between a young and an older hob or ferret in general sorry is you look at their teeth this one is the young one and you can tell by how worn or how not worn their canines are as you can see they're very quiet they put their fingers right near their mouth and they won't bite and that's what I like you you want a well handled ferret because on a day's ferret in the last thing you want is to be trying to handle a ferret and it biting you and you know they're generally quiet and that just comes with regular handling so you know whenever you go to clean your ferrets out or feed them I recommend handling them this one's the older one and I'll show you now one of his canines compared to the other one of his canines is quite worn down but again you can put their fingers near their mouths and they won't bite you you know. So I'll show you my other three. Uh, <laughs> this one might be a bit tricky because they actually try and fly out the hutch when you open them, so. Get ready for some bloopers on this one. <laughs> so here's my other three. Uh, these two are brothers. This one is the youngster that I bred this year uh, from last year's litter. Put them away. There you go. Quite a regular this one. Actually, I think this one's the youngster. So. so this hop is the sire of all the youngsters I have. It's a nice size hop, as you can see. Um, Probably around five to six years old, I'd say. And he's a bit of a wriggler, but generally, as with all my ferrets, he is quite quiet to handle. And let me try and leave my phone up. Sorry for the quality of this video, guys. It's just I don't have my tripod. Quite quiet to handle. Uh, he's bolted lots of lots of rabbits. I'll just pop him back in the hutch, quick, guys. And 
And then, of course, I've got these two youngsters that I showed you last time. Um, I'm not going to get them out. Bryn wants to be in the shot again. Good shot of them. Yeah. It helps to have a quiet dog around the ferrets as well. Obviously, both my runners are, um, are totally broken to the ferrets. I don't tend to use this lad for um, ferreting a lot. Um, he gets a bit bored, if I'm honest. There's not much for him to do. He's quite big and quite cumbersome and quite bloody clumsy around Warren's. He's more my lamping dog, really. Brin. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick uh, tour of the ferrets, uh, the hutches, and show you the ferrets. Um, I'm actually moving very soon. Uh, we're moving out of this property very soon. Um, and one of the houses we're looking at, if we get it, it's got a large garden, la larger outbuildings than this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, because now I don't have Jills, I only have hobs. And I, I generally don't split my hobs up during the uh, spring and summer months like some people do. I've never really had a problem with hobs fighting. So what I'm going to do uh, when we move is I'm going to build them a court, a big court with a run. So they've got more room at the moment. I've just got them in quite big hutches. You know, there's enough room for them. But I'd like to give them a little more room to run about so the reason why I haven't done this here is because this place was only meant to be temporary really we were only here a couple of years and uh, Bryn's after the rabbits I've got hung up here <laughs> um, so yeah hopefully I'm hope I'm hoping to uh, build them a bigger bit of a bigger hutch uh, run sorry or court as it's called um, so yeah, uh, when I do that, actually, I shall uh, I shall get a film of that, if not building it of when it's made. Um, but I, I'll get that lamp in video put together. It's only four four clips. It's nothing special. Um, it's a little bit grainy actually, <laughs> um, because uh, my mate actually filmed it on his mobile. So next time I go lamping, we'll bring the proper camera out and have a go. Um, did get a bit of was out ferreting yesterday, did get a bit of footage, but <clears throat> that was it was another new permission. And it's very, very awkward because the rabbits didn't want to bolt yesterday. Uh, we had, I think we had one bolt and three digs. And uh, I'm sure you guys don't want a video consisting of just us digging rabbits out. It's going to be boring. Um, but that permission, actually, the farmer's happy for us to come back with the lamp and the running dogs. Um, for a shine, look at him, he's trying to get in all the time for a bloody cuddle, the big big daft here. Um <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a shine up there. Um I'll get that on film for you actually guys. Um so yeah there's there, I know you requested a video, there's not really much to show, you know, there's one two free hutches, you know, so um and the seven ferrets. Um but yeah what I'll do is I'll get some more videos done for you um if there's any other videos you want to you want me to do guys any like i know i've done another i've done a rabbit skinning video um i've done a squirrel skinning video got a few rabbits hung up here um so i can't really do anything other than that um what i will do i'll do another video I've, there's a way that i take the crown out of a pigeon uh, that i'll show you um but yeah, if you, I actually saw a really, really good video the other day. Uh, I, th I believe it was on British Ferreting uh, by Andrew Hayes. And it was his method of gutting rabbits. Um, and it was actually a really, really clever method. And he just slits it open and flicks the guts out with the back of his knife. So if you haven't seen that, get on to that and see it. Or I'll do a video on it, actually, um, and give him a shout out because I thought that was a brilliant method. Um, hope you're all doing well guys hope you've been getting out um, we've got plenty more places to go now so we'll get out and uh, get some more videos some more action videos your way I hope you're enjoying my ferreting videos and if there's anything in particular you want to see just drop us a uh, comment uh, winter wonderland here the dogs have been out playing in the garden they love the snow um, so yeah, like I say, I'll get back to you soon, guys. Um, like, share, and subscribe the videos. We'll be back for more. You'll be seeing more of Bryn, more of Jet, 
and uh, we'll try and get some up with the terriers. I've got a bit of ratting, so cheers, guys.